All right. Well, tonight we are graduating four wonderful young women from the Next Generation Internship, one second year. Yeah. for this season, I'm just going to say something quickly about each one of them. You know, these four women are standout, stand-up women, and each one of them in their own way exemplify a virtuous, graceful, um, powerful, and fierce woman of God. They really do. And just to just get specific quickly, um, Jana, she's our second year graduating. <laughs> people to her, uh, just to be encouraged, loved, and really changed when people are around her. She has such a gift to, to, to this class and to everyone who's a part of her life. Bree is a first year. She has creative focus. Bree is so passionate, so thorough, and just hungry to grow. Uh, we think all of her leadership recognize that in her. And I think one thing that all of us can say about Bree is this is just the beginning of her growth, of her purpose, and her destiny. Can't wait to see where God takes her in those things. Uh, Megan is also a creative focus. most of all about caring for people. Where is she? There she is. You make eye contact with her. Um, just so passionate. Ever since she got here, she has just been affectionately called the mama and uh, by all the interns uh, because she just really genuinely cares for people and no matter what she does or where she goes from here, you know, I, I just, I, I pray that we were able to add all the wisdom and, you know, knowledge and experiences through this year. But no matter what she does, I think her, one of her greatest gifts is just caring for people. She really lives passionately, passionately, that simple phrase, love God and love people. Can't wait to see what God does with her. And then Hannah, she is youth focused. <laughs> people's lives, especially our young people's lives. And uh, one thing about Hannah, she has such a deep conviction and carries, carries such deep convictions about her. Where is she at? I don't see her. There she is. Okay. Carries such deep convictions within her. And it's she's literally an anchor. Her life is an anchor. And she's a solid rock. And she's a pillar, really, wherever she is. And so it's such a blessing just to have her around this year because no matter where she was, she just brings a sense of stability and confidence and gracefulness as a woman of God. It's just, it's great to see. And it's, uh, it really does impact whatever culture and environment she steps into. That's why I was, I mean, I loved having her around my daughter because she just carries that such a graceful and confident nature. So I can't wait to see what God does with that in her future. And so really quickly, they actually have prepared a quick video um, to, to present in their own words the highlights of their year. I think I can pick a favorite in GMOA. Like, we've seen each other in our best times and in our worst times, in those moments where you're scared, in those moments where you're stupid, and then you have your come to Jesus moments and they were always there for you. A moment that I loved about NGI was definitely um, this summer before Youth America. It was a work day and it was like 105 degrees. And so to lighten the mood, us girls, we definitely um, started scheming and planning. So we got big, huge buckets of water, just filled them to the top and stood behind like every guy's door. And so then we went and knocked on all the doors. And as soon as they come out, even though they were a little frustrated because it was a long day, we had completely drenched them with water, which started one of the largest water fights that I've ever been a part of. My favorite NGI moment would have to be back in April when we went on our NGI retreat. Uh, the night we got there, we sat around and told each other what our favorite things were about each other. 
and how much we love each other and we encourage each other. And it was so good to hear just because we were fixing to enter into the most stressful and busiest time of the internship. I remember my favorite second year moment. It was when we were recording for uh, the children's ministry vlogs. We were doing books of the Bible as characters. And Alex Warwick came up and he was Revelations. And he came up and we just started recording and we did not know what he was going to do. He just came up there and he said, Revelations, in this deep and scary voice. And we literally like busted out laughing. It was hilarious. My biggest takeaway, the thing that I'm going home with, is a more of a servant's heart and how to more than just humble myself, but to figure out why I'm doing what I'm doing and have a heart for the people I'm doing it for. My biggest takeaway would have to be one, just having a servant's heart. Through this internship, I've really allowed God to just humble me. And that has been so good because He has shown me a totally different aspect of how His church is supposed to be and how I'm supposed to be as a Christian. My biggest takeaway from NGI would definitely be a thankful heart. I'm just thankful that I even got the chance to be here. Uh, thankful that I got to study under some of the best leaders in the world. I got to be a part of a summer camp that literally changed lives of thousands of kids. To be a part of things uh, way bigger than I could have ever imagined. I've really taken a strong sense of leadership from an NGI. Just being the strongest leader that I can possibly be. I just wanted to say thank you to the leaders, especially in the creative department. But Russell, you know, not only being a leader, but almost like a big brother. Him, Natalie, and Aaron always made sure they took the time to mentor and to teach. If I could say thank you, I would have to say thank you to Russell, Natalie, and Janora. They've been such good mentors in my life, not just leaders, but they've been a friend. If I could say thank you to anyone, it would definitely be to Grant and Monica. Honestly, I don't know if I can say thank you enough for them just stepping into my life, making sure every decision that I made was completely spirit-led, um, for being two of the most influential people in my life. I would love to say thank you to Pastor Phil and Jamie for everything that they've taught me. Pastor Phil just has so much wisdom and I would love to just thank him for it. all the wisdom that he's implanted in me. We would have to say thank you to Pastor Kirk and Pastor Nancy for accepting the vision of NGI. It was just something that literally changed our life forever. And also the Church of the Harvest for opening your arms and your heart and accepting us and making us a part of your family. On behalf of our graduating class, we would like to say thank you.
that does something for you and keeps you in touch with reality in speaking into their life. And of all the things I do all week long, it's one of the most prized things I get to do is spend time speaking into their life. And so one more time, girls, I want to share just a thought with you from the Scripture. And it's from 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 12. 2 Timothy chapter 1 and verse 12. It says, For this reason I also suffer or experience these things. Nevertheless, I'm not ashamed. For now I, for I know whom I have believed and am persuaded that he is able to keep what I have committed to him until that day. Hold fast the pattern of sound words which you have heard from me in faith and love which are in Christ Jesus. That good thing which was committed to you keep by the Holy Spirit who dwells in us. You know, there have been a lot of things experienced over this past year. We've had the joy of seeing these girls, of seeing these girls in learning moments, of seeing them under immense pressure. You know, when a thousand young people show up on a lower campus and you and a few of your team are managing all the aspects of that, and you're running on just a little bit of sleep and a whole lot of spirit, the flesh can get tired. You get weary, but thank God you do the internship when you're between 18 and 29 years old, right? You have the energy to sustain it. But we have seen character be formed and deepened in them. We have seen a strong worth, work ethic rise. We have seen the freedom that they know in Christ Jesus reach all new levels. We have seen an endurance and a passion and a commitment in them that is extraordinary. Let me just say this. If every graduate of any university finished as well and as developed as these young women have, our nation would look a lot different. Amen? What has happened to them and the way they have received and submitted and owned this has been nothing short of Christ-like. And so we honor you. And my exhortation to you is, I know and in persuading that the things that God has committed to you, the things that He has started in you, the things that He has begun in you, He will keep and guard and fulfill until the day of His return. I know the best days of your life are ahead of you. And I encourage you to hold fast to the pattern of, of life, of serving God, of humility that you've experienced. You've done things most young people would not attempt to do. You first risked an entire year of your life. You somehow convinced your family to go along with it. Maybe reluctantly, maybe suspiciously, but I promise family as they return home to you, what you will see is a greater depth of maturity and growth in their life than you ever thought possible. You sent them to us as amazing young women. We're returning them to you as mature women of God. We're proud of them. So I encourage you that as you hold fast to what God has revealed to you, use it. You'll find things that will come out of you you did not even know were even there. You'll find yourself repeating Natalie when you didn't even want to. You'll find yourself referring to Pastor David when, when he was not on your mind. You'll find yourself... You'll find yourself saying something that, that I might have said, and you'll think, where did that come from? The Holy Spirit will show you. It was because you took time to sow up your life in that year, and God will use it in the next way. You've been in a learning lab. Now it's time for reality. Now it's time to take what you've experienced and share it with the world. And I'm going to tell you, share it in humility. Share it honoring others. Amen. Let your gift and call make room for you. Never have to force your way. But God will open doors for you to deliver what you've learned, and it will transform lives. Put faith in what His Word has put in you. Thank you, girls, for spending this year with us. Thank you for sharing your life. I can tell you that our team at different times have talked about each one of you to me extensively, and they've truly been impacted by you and see amazing things in you. 
Let's pray. Father, thank you for each one of these precious women of God. Thank you for the grace upon their lives. I pray that, like your word says, that the steps of a righteous man or woman are ordered by the Lord. God, I pray now that as you ordered their step to be a part of this internship experience, that God, you are now ordering their steps for the days and the years to come. I pray for open doors, for them to step in, be planted in the house of God, and flourish. I pray that they are a blessing to their pastors, to their family, to the world around them. I pray that you anoint them and inspire them with vision and a cause that is greater than they could have ever dreamed before. God, I thank you for some of the, the powerful things that will come forth from their future and their destiny. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. God bless you guys. If you can, go ahead and have the girls come on up and stand on the stage. You can give them a round of applause. <laughs> ceremony so we have to do it you can stand right here and so we're going to get present them with their certificates of ministry license and graduation from the next generation internship and so first of all is our second year Jana Marie Lawrence Right up there and in there. So you guys can head in that way to greet them and meet them there. 